On today's episode, DARPA develops wireless power beaming technology. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Transmitting signals wirelessly has been a core technology since the turn of the last century. Information has been transmitted multiple ways over the air, from simply turning the carrier wave on and off using Morse code, to modulating the carrier wave either with amplitude or frequency modulation, or by transmitting binary high and low states for modern digital communication. In every case, however, the amount of power transmitted is low. What if it was possible to transmit useful amounts of power without wires over the air? The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is exploring the possibility with their Persistent Optical Wireless Energy Relay, or POWER, program. The program aims to demonstrate the essential components needed for a truly wireless, speed-of-light energy distribution network. If successful, the ability to transmit meaningful amounts of power without wires could have global implications, unlocking diverse and remote energy sources, including those from the Earth orbit or beyond. The agency has selected three teams, RTX Corporation, Draper, and Beam Corporation, to design and develop optical power relays. The first phase of the project will develop the enabling technology, which in the second phase will be carried by pods on aircraft. The final phase of the project intends to demonstrate an airborne optical power transmission system that can deliver 10 kilowatts of energy to a ground receiver 200 kilometers away from a remote ground source laser. The military applications include very long duration drone operations without the need to carry large amounts of onboard fuel or air to air refueling. The technical challenges are considerable from signal attenuation due to atmospheric effects to the conversion losses that are inevitable when waves are converted to current and back again through relays. Orbital or very high altitude systems may alleviate many of these problems. The first phase is expected to last 20 months, with an optional three-month extension if necessary, while the second phase will involve an open tendering process in early 2025, focused on integration of the relay technologies into an aircraft. The future of drones and possibly passenger-carrying aircraft may involve electric power beamed to the airframe from the ground or even space. Well, that's, well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.